Okay, everybody, today we're going to be looking at uh, the new tree pack from Megascans. All right, which is the European Horn Beam. Um, the European Horn Beam. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to take a look at it. So, first, what we'll do is we'll load up the map to kind of see here. Uh, sure, save selected. We're going to go ahead. They have a map coming in. And you can add this. It's right in the marketplace. You can add it to your project. I added it to a 5.1 project. So this is 5.1 preview one. And then we're going to be taking a look at as well performance of the trees. Here we go. So right now, here are all the trees. There they are. So you have pivot painter wind like you had before and you had simple wind and then you have a global foliage actor which you can go ahead change the season of it so we'll go ahead and we're going to take a look at that so you take a look at the trees as you can see here here's the pivot painter one here is this one right here and we have the wind strength to two you can up that you can have a little more wind noise if you want which adds a little more noise to it which is pretty cool let me reset that wind speed we can bring that up we can put that to like one let's say and now we're getting a little bit more wind there we go let me go to two let's go crazy there we go i'm getting some weird wind jigglies here Pretty cool though. That looks pretty. That looks pretty cool though. I'm not gonna lie. That looks really, really cool. Taking a performance hit there. Let's take a look at our FPS. The wind, adding the wind actually brings down our FPS, which is crazy. And if we turn down the wind, there we go, our FPS goes back up. Nice. What's crazy is, is this scene right here on its own. Um, also, too, I am recording in OBS, so my FPS is going to take a little bit of a hit. But you can see here the different LODs as I move back. There we go. And then as I move in. There we go. And then you have a season handler, so you can go ahead and you can change the season. You can see there, now we're... In the fall. There we go. Season brightness, saturation if you want, and the health of the tree. You make it so that the tree is dying. You have a color variation, so you can bring that up as well. That's going to set the variation, macro variation tiling, random color variation amount. So that's pretty cool. But these trees look really, really good. These trees look really, really, really good. I'm very happy with them, yeah. I think they look really, really good. But as you can see here, Uncle, they have LODs all the way back there. That's pretty crazy. And you can see the LODs change as you move further away. Which is pretty common standard for mo for pretty much all different types of trees because you, you don't want that performance kick. So we're going to go ahead and load up. Go ahead and filter by my levels here. Uh, bu -bu 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 I don't remember which level I had. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It was in my scene default. I had that scene. If I go to project settings, I'll be able to put it in a second which map it is so you can see there I had a cool little sunset thing going on if I go to maps and modes and I had overview that's the one that I had there so we're gonna head and take a look at overview which is right here perfect and don't save and then it's gonna load up the map that's pretty cool and then we're gonna go ahead um, we're gonna go
go to our simple wind ones here. And what we are going to do actually is we're going to start painting some foliage. And we're going to go ahead and bring some foliage into here. Perfect. Good, 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 good. All right, let's hide the content browser. And then what we are going to do is select all these trees here. And still in 5.1, there's a bug where you have to like scroll all the way down to the bottom and then lift that up. That's really annoying, but it's there. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the density to one because we don't want too many trees and we want the radius to be pretty big. Um, let's set like a min max of different size trees. And then we are going to go up high and we are going to start painting them. So here we go. Chug, chug, chug along. Once again, I am recording. So me recording does, you know, hit my FPS a bit. So we'll just wait for that kind of kick back a bit. My FPS is going to hit hard because of the recording and then it's picks back again. Let's just do this. All right, that should be good enough. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take a look at the power of Nanite. This is really, so as you can see here, I'm back, it's showing the LODs there. You can see them as I move in, move out. You can see, there we go. Now the new LODs start kicking in. So they have on the, the billboard LODs, they've got no shadows on there, as you can see. And then as I move in, and then you're gonna start seeing the geometry pop from the billboard LODs to the actual other LODs. And you're gonna see also too, my hit in FPS. Oh my goodness, look at that, I'm at nine FPS. Once again, I'm recording, so I'm losing about 10 to 20 frames there, as you can see. But what we're going to do is we're gonna do a couple things here. First thing we're gonna do is, is the ones I selected, I'm gonna right click on those. I'm gonna go Nanite, enable Nanite for selected. All right, perfect. And you're gonna notice some wind stuff going on there. That's not really good. So what we're gonna do is go here. I'm gonna click on European horn and then they've got blueprint class. If you take a look at that, oh, it should be under here. Sorry, I went under content, my bad. It's under MS presets. It's called BP foliage actor. I'm gonna bring this in and the wind strength is two i'm going to bring that down to like 0.5 we're getting some weird stretching stuff going on there but as you can see here already i'm at 20 frames where before i was at like 10. let's just see here and here i'm at 40 frames so we're going to go ahead and do that again i'm going to turn nanite on those Let me turn this off here go simple wind let's go here I'm going to turn Nanite off, disable Nanite. Once the trees come back in. So you can see there, the frame hit is just crazy. I'm at like seven frames per second. Once again, I'm recording, so I am losing a bit of frames, but if I go back and I enable Nanite, enable Nanite, now you're getting a huge, huge jump in frames. You're getting better frames there. But the nice thing about Nanite though, is you're not getting that pop that you would get from the LODs. Now I, I went a little crazy here. This is probably like too much this is probably like too many trees. I went a little nuts. I've got water going on in here. I wanna, you know, but the fact that I'm getting this high here is pretty insane. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Here I'm getting 30 frames. Here we go. And we can fix this up. One, yeah, I mean, I'm not crazy about the lighting in this scene. So let's go ahead and um, let's add a post-process volume in here. 
just add a post process volume. We will set it to infinite, which makes it so that it goes automatically to the whole thing. Okay, as you can see here, the PP foliage actor, the wind strength still is crazy and wind noise. I'm bringing that down to 0.5. Maybe even the wind speed to like 0.1. Wind strength to 0.1. That's a nanite issue. Hopefully they can fix that. You're getting a little bit of smearing on with the wind noise and stuff. I'll have to take a look at that. Okay, I'm going to go back to the post-process volume here. Let's go to exposure. I'm going to turn on the metering mode. I'm going to set that to manual. And then I'm going to compensate here. Let's go to like 12 maybe. Oh, there we go. Look at that lighting. There we go. Getting some better lighting there now. Now, this is once again at max settings. What we can do is, is Unreal has what they call engine scalability settings and right now i'm on epic we can go to high and what that's going to do is is lower the quality and it's going to bring our fps but the question is do you actually notice a difference really what's taking a hit here so i can go back to epic but what i can do is take the shadows and i can put that to high and as you can see right there the shadows make a huge difference but in terms of like quality, if you go to Epic, you really don't notice much in the close stuff. So I'm gonna show that again. We're gonna go here, engine scalability settings. I'm gonna turn the shadows to high. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zip that out. So you do notice at a distance, that's really where it is. At the distance, you notice the shadow. See, right there, you can tell in the water there. And then if you come back to engine scalability settings, and then you go to shadows back to high and then there you go now you're gonna start noticing there at a distance see at the distance how it starts coming in but i i would take that especially in a video game over yeah i mean for my fps to be higher but you look at this this is nanite quality like this is this is crazy the amount of trees that i have here and what is going on which is pretty neat. And then we got the lighting that looks better now. There we go. That's looking really, really good. Lighting just makes a huge world of a difference there. That's pretty cool. That is very, very cool. Ooh, got some water going up there. Got to fix the landscape. But yeah, that is the new tree pack with Nanite Performance just to show you how, like, how really good it is. Um, I'll do a quick triangle there, kind of show you what's going on. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty insane. Really liking that. Really, really liking that. That's very, very cool. Still some bugs, still some stuff going on, but that is pretty, pretty cool. That looks awesome. That looks amazing. Okay, and then other things you should, guys should know. So the scalability settings, even though they're here, we can definitely, you can use a lot of these by, um, by command line. So there's down here by the command line, if you type in SG and then you hit period, and then you can go in and you can start adding, I mean, your thing. So for example, you have shadow quality. So you can, hold on, let me go here. Shadow quality, um, which is right here. And then you can change that if you want. So if I hit zero, it's going to turn all the shadows off. And then we can go to one. So zero is like very low. One is turning the shadows back on. And then you have two, which is what we had them on. We had it at a high. And then three is epic. So then we go three to epic. And as you can see there, I take like a six frame drop just to go to epic. So I had it on two. There we go. So you do have a lot of quality commands that you can go ahead and you can look at anti-aliasing, effects, qualities, global MA. So you have all of these to kind of play with um, and they are available, like let's say in Fortnite and all this, stuff, you have all those definite settings. Um, but that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and really appreciate it. Thank you.